It's hot again. So why don't we head to a lab where rain or shine, it's always hot because they're studying the effects of heat on the human body. Over at the University of Ottawa's Human and Environmental Physiology Research Unit, student Matthew Portuguese is on the treadmill. This is my third day. I'm excited for it to be over. Um, the other two were very long. I walked for three hours in the heat and I've also walked for about an hour and a half. And I'm feeling really hot. I'm feeling sweaty. My body is, is nice and warm. I'm pretty thirsty. My feet are starting to hurt. The test is meant to simulate a work day outside. This is his actually last experimental session. So he has participated, he's going to participate in three sessions with three different temperature conditions. So we have a warm condition, a very warm condition, and a hot condition. Today he is participating in the hot condition. It's around 41.3 degrees Celsius with 35% relative humidity. So it's very hot in here. He is walking until his core temperature reaches one degree above resting. It's a change he can feel. I was feeling really, really lightheaded, and you just start feeling like you're gonna pass out. You kind of know when you hit that, you hit that wall. Next door, 78-year-old Michael Chekmar wears monitors for another experiment. So you have to maintain 80 uh, uh, RPMs and uh, try to survive that. So the the first. 20 minutes were okay. It started to get worse towards the end, and the last five minutes were difficult. It's part of a study looking at exercise focused on older people who might not be able to easily get a break to recover. Especially like now during this heat wave, we're seeing if does that heat stress they're experiencing during exercise, does that place them at greater risk than if they have the presence of these different health conditions, like type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, how are those going to affect their vulnerability to the heat? So I had to try it for myself. I've only been on this treadmill for a few minutes and a few takes, and I can already feel the heat and humidity weighing on me. My clothes are starting to cling to my body, and this research isn't just about what the human body can handle, but what kind of guidelines and measures can be in place to make sure that everyone handles the heat more safely. Research has shown that different factors like sex and age and fitness, chronic conditions do actually uh, influence how we respond to heat. So work like this where we're actually looking at a varied age population, different sexes, is really, really important to kind of move away from that one size fits all so that to ensure that we're protecting all workers. We're trying to find the appropriate mitigation strategies, both for the general public as well as for workers. Glenn Kenny is the lead at the research unit. Their work has helped Health Canada set maximum indoor temperature guidelines, and their goal is workplace guidelines that respond to all those variables and the effects of multi-day heat waves. And that's not accounted for in the existing guidelines. And that's very important because that means the same work you're performing on Monday may place you at very high risk of a heat-related injury on Friday. So consecutive days of extreme heat can pose an extreme danger to workers that must perform their duties, especially if they have to do it continuously in these very hot conditions. He warns short bouts of air conditioning won't decrease your core temperature enough to keep working. When we are sitting in an air-conditioned space, we are actually suppressing sweating. So when we're in a cool environment, we're actually limiting the amount of heat that we're going to lose. Now, so you just want to go into a relatively cooler zone so there's adequate airflow around you, so it could be a shaded area where temperatures are much lower. Getting those real-world results is worth breaking a sweat. There are a lot of people working outside as gardeners, electricians, miners. There are so many people that are just working in hot environments, and it's nice to be able to use myself to help give them better and safer protocols.